Yeah, it does not looking good for a launch later on tonight at 6, but there is a two-hour window, so fingers crossed. But we are watching pop-up showers and thunderstorms already starting to develop along the radar, primarily across our southern half, mostly Brevard and Osceola County. But that chance will increase and become more widespread throughout the afternoon and into your Saturday as well. It will be an active day as we have that east and west coast sea breeze collide. But then they're going to kind of meander around central Florida throughout the next few hours, meaning the rain will linger a little later in the day that, that compared to when it was last couple days. So as we head into Sunday and even for Monday or 4th of July, temperatures and rain chances back to the seasonal values. So let's look at the radar right now. Of course, some scattered showers primarily across the southern half of our viewing area, stretching as far north as northern Brevard County and then starting to spread inland into Osceola County. So as we zoom in here, give you a better idea what's going on. We have heavy rain right now from Merritt Island through the Rockledge area along 95 just south, just, I should say just north of South Patrick. Also seeing some moderate to heavy rain and these scattered showers continuing to track along 441 in Keenansville as well as, as well as the turnpike. Let's take a live look outside Orlando Health Camera and kind of a muggy and warm start to your day. 89 degrees, the breeze from the south at 8. Throughout the day, you can see rain chances do go up to 40% in the next hour or so. And then up to about a 60% throughout the rest of the afternoon and into the evening hours. Right now we're in the mid to upper 80s across Central Florida. I don't think we have a 90 degree mark yet out here. No, but you can see that the Melbourne Airport certainly getting some rain as temperatures, rain cooled air, keeping it at 78, 85 in New Smyrna Beach. So let's look at the timing here because this is really going to be what the big story of the day. So you can see there goes that east and west coast sea breeze by about 1 o'clock. And that is already verifying on our radar these two boundaries basically will start to collide between about three and five o'clock. You can see that collision happening across our interior zones, including portions of Osceola, Orange, Seminole, up through Volusia, parts of Lake by about five o'clock. And then you can see some scattered showers will kind of linger around the area until about eight, nine o'clock. We're not concerned about any overnight rain, but then it's going to be a rinse and repeat type of weather forecast as we head into your Saturday. You can see scattered showers developing by two o'clock on Saturday, more widespread rain by five and lingering once again until about eight, nine o'clock. We will start to dial back the rain chances just a bit as we head into Sunday and Monday.